What is up guys, your boy Raven here today, representing Team Raven and Team Raven t-shirt. Today I'm gonna show you a Zapdos deck, my take on the Zapdos deck from Unbroken Bonds. But before I'm gonna do that, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more decks, more Pokemon, more news, more let's go. So, as I said, let's go Eevee, let's go with the deck. So, uh, the Zapdos deck is a classic deck, right? you may say classic from the team-up. Well-known deck, very competitive, with Zapdos as one of the main attackers. But I kind of put a twist on it, of course, that there are people that are using fighting type, and that's what I you know, took my inspirations for. But also, you know, I took some inspiration from my IRL deck. So let's go, let's just jump right into a deck. So first things first, as you can see on uh, the left side of the screen, we have a line of two EVs and two Jolteons. Why Jolteon? Why in the world Jolteon? First, I love Jolteon. This is a really aggressive card, super, super fast attacker. Also, Swift Run GX is amazing. Like I had during the stream today and yesterday, two or three times when people did not read what Swift Run does, which was really, really fun to see. Then we have two Baby Buzzwolves and Marshadow Machamp. That's, you know, that's a nice addition to the deck, and I really like Marshadow Machamp for the revenge attack. Also, sometimes you're gonna use Acme of Heroism, but let's be honest, you know, you're more likely to actually use the revenge here. Especially now uh, when uh, your opponents, you know, uh, when your opponent gets knocked out, well, pfft, Bam, there you go, revenge, you, uh, you revenge, and that is a really, really great attack. Then we have one Tapu Koko Prism, one Tapu Koko GX against those, you know, uh, decks that utilize a lot of energy. So that we got Tapu Thunder, then we have three Zapdoses, one Zara Aura, and one Jirachi. That is it, that's all you need, plus Tapu Lele, of course. Then let's go to the trainers, because we're playing 33 turn t blah, trainers, and as you can see, they are pretty, kind of all over the place, right, but... Uh, not really. So we have Electromagnetic Radar to get into the electric type GXs like Zora Aura, Tapu Koko, ASAP. Then we have four Electro Powers, one Energy Spinner for Energy, two Energy Switches, because sometimes you want to switch the energy, three Escape Robes, three Nest Balls, three, uh, two actually Pokemon Communications, and three Switches. So you can see the recurring theme of switching up uh, a lot of stuff, switching the energy, switching the attackers, just getting uh, from our opponent something that we want. Then we have three, I would say Electro Balls, three Ultra Balls, one Found a Mountain, one Vridan Forest, four additional discard, Two Cynthia's, three Guzmas, one Lily, one Titan Lizard, two Volkners. Those are all the trainers. And then on top of that, one Beast Energy for the Baby Buzz, four Fighting Type Energy, and seven Electric Type Energy. That's honestly all you need. You have the full deck down there below, so you can you know uh, check it out yourself. You don't have to watch the rest of the video if you don't want to, but we're gonna play two games. So yeah, let's do it. Let's just go. And yeah, before we're gonna apply, don't forget to click that subscribe button on the road to 500 subscribers. And also, don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. It's the Raven Cold Stench, because that's where we actually play and create those decks. So you can actually, you know, uh, have an opinion on that deck live, and I will change that probably. Or, you know, you can actually help me build that. Or propose a deck and I'll try to build around that. Like I know I know Silver Lake deck is, is in the making, so don't worry. So let's go. Heads. Do I wanna go first or second? I like going second due to Jolteon. So let's start second. I mean really having Jolteon you know, turn one attacking is really really cool. <laughs> well, not in the first hand though, right? In the first hand Jolteon is not good. So uh the basic principle kind of resembles uh, my deck that I used IRL for a long time. You want to get to a Jolteon, you want to you know, start attacking fast, and you want to start knocking stuff out. So I'm going to start with Zero Aura because I have a switch, we have a Nest Ball, and we have a Zapdos. So all I really need is energy at this point, and I can get it from Titan Liza. So I don't even have to like be worried, you know, I can go for a Jolteon actually <laughs> if I want to. Because, uh, you know, Eevee, then a Switch, then Titan Liza, and hope for energy. Of course, you know, it's not always like that, right? You need not always should hope for energy. But it is what it is sometimes, right? It is what it is. Um, but I think if he is not going to actually retreat Salandit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Switch on a Zapdos. 
and I would like to knock him out with the Zapdos because Zapdos is a faster attacker, can uh, attack for more. Okay, so Nidoran, again, the card that we can... Ooh, Machado Machamp. I don't need you uh, at this point. So definitely, I can knock out with the Zapdos and then find some way to actually retreat because we got the Zara Aura, so the retreating is not a problem. Right, retreating is not a problem. Also, what I can do is I can go for Volkner and actually, uh, so Tapulele Volkner, so I'm gonna have uh, the energy there. I'm gonna guarantee myself the energy, and I think that's what I'm gonna do, right? I don't wanna risk with Titan Liza. It's basically a switch that I can use, but I want the energy. We really need energy, and there is a Volkner, so let's use it. Right, it's always better to go for the safer play than to risk it. I mean, I know I. On streams, I tend to risk a lot, but in this case, really, it's a lot better to 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 to, to just be uh, be safer and play it safe and cool. So let's go escape rope and energy. All right. So I went with escape rope since uh, I will be retreating my Zapdos next turn, and escape rope uh, will help me get something that I really want to know. But depending on you know his bench and his uh, game plan so definitely we might see a Charizard at the same time. let me see 100 HP that's not cool okay so the Charizard definitely a Charizard and this means a knockout a Charizard here means knockout there's no other way uh, of saying this than just so 130 damage all right So that's okay. So I now I understand his plan. So we're gonna have okay. So it's all about the engine, all about getting getting the cards you need all the time on you, and you know, maybe getting the welder, maybe something else. Fire crystals, quite interesting deck to be honest with you. I have not seen a Meganium Charizard Salazel deck uh, like ever. Any Doran, right? You know, f call to family. Um, I mean. I know it's Nido Queen, but uh, what in the world? I mean, Meganium Charizard. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that's gonna be a thing? All right. So I kind of am going to risk with Electro Power. So now, yeah, now is the time when you risk it, right? Shuffle. Let's hope for some energy. And there was no energy, which was which is really really bad. Hmm. Done. 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 See, so, like this is the thing. In online, you know, the element of surprise is is huge. Because I honestly, I thought it's gonna be a different game, and it's the first time I'm seeing that deck. I am intrigued, to say the least, right? I am intrigued. But again, you know, this is this is one of those decks that definitely can only be pulled off uh, online. Okay, we're gonna have another Salazel. And again, Salazel, great card, right? You know, free hit factory, basically. So you draw those cards. Maybe, no, maybe he's playing a hand, you know, hand, maybe not. I mean, when you see Salazels, there is, you know, hand somewhere, but okay, it's a welder. Okay, this is pure, pure Charizard. Let, let's attack type of deal. All right. Rare candy for Meganium. There we go. And now we're going to see Nido Queen, Nido Queen. Uh, no, because you can only use it once, right? Once during your turn. Okay, so we're going to see one Nido Queen. Queen's Call, but it's really intriguing deck. Oh, really? By the way, I love the art on the Charizard. Perfect Charizard. Okay. <sighs> so what I can do is I can play Boswell since he's gonna have full price. Here we go. We have a Boswell. I hope the game is not too loud because I for yeah wait uh 
I think the game is a little bit too loud because I forgot to, to turn it down yesterday. So, okay, let's maximize Lily. Three cards. Ah, crap. No, it, this is not happening. I'm sorry, this is not happening. This is not going to happen. Oh, that was a bad, bad draw. Dang it. You know, sometimes it, it happens and there's nothing you can do. GG to, to my opponent. Really nice deck. Really good idea, actually. And kudos, kudos to, to for this idea. I mean, maybe if there's gonna be a game two, I would probably play it differently. But that's the thing, right? That in online, you don't have game two. You only have best of one, and that's what you should do. And this time, I'm gonna start. This time, I wanna go first, and let's see what's gonna happen. So let's start with Boswell. Ugh. A nice but oh whoa 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 that's not what I wanted to open uh, we got a nice buzz will start I mean I'm starting the game so oh that's a blast okay so energy on the buzz wall and Cynthia oh there we go So I know I can go for Zora Aura. To Electro Power, so I'm gonna have wait Volkner. So I can play next turn. Like, okay, so my next turn is going to be definitely Volkner. Uh, energy Zapdos switch both Electro Powers. I mean it makes sense, right? Because 80 Hundred and ten, hundred and forty, maybe one. Uh, no, I'm gonna still miss, uh, miss stuff. Okay, never mind. And he discarded Heat Factory, so that would, that had to be a really, really, really good card that he kept. So maybe no, because Welder was now, but maybe a second Welder, maybe a Fairy Flint. That is always an option. Because, I mean, I want to use the GX here, right? So there's no point of actually playing Jolteon now. But I'm going to play Jolteon front because I just want to... Okay, so I have a switch. Volkner, and I... Honestly, I really have to think now. So... Definitely energy. And I mean, I can go Pokemon Communication if I want to. Or just another. Oh no, I can't really go Electro Power though. Okay, let, let's do it this way. So, the energy is going to come onto Zapdos. Switch, three Electro Powers. And we'll see what's going to happen, right? I mean, I'm now I'm going to be 10 short. I just know that. But there's nothing else I can do at this point. There's no better option. 10 short, but let's do it. Let's put some pressure on our opponent. Because uh, all I need is 10 damage. That's all we need. That's all. But at the same time, uh, it might not be enough. So, Welder, three energies, knockout. Wishful Baton, so this is going to play the second. Second, second, second. Blasiphon. No, okay, so he's go. Alright, so he's going with for Mind Blown. So. Oh, this is. This is going to be interesting. There goes EV, and it all comes down to one draw. And it's an energy. Oh my god. Are you joking? Are you joking? Top deck town, baby. Top deck town. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Top deck town. That was a huge top deck on my part. Oh my goodness, what a top deck. What a top deck that was. And... <laughs> I mean, holy moly, that was an amazing top deck. Honestly, and 
after something like that we can only open one pack right let's buy the pack we can open pack because we are like we have luck right we have luck so let's open that pack and hopefully now we're gonna get something really good so let's say what is that energy and let's go for it because i mean after top decking like that oh my goodness and don't forget that you have the deck down there below you can check it out we got a gloom i love that art of gloom and are you not entertained Mook and another one Mook. That is, I think, the second one, right? That is a second one I'm having. Oh my goodness. I told you. I told you this is luck. That, what a luck that is. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Check out the deck yourself. Get it. Take it. And fight. Win games with it. Because it is a really, really nice deck. Uh, for me, it's 8 out of 10. Really, really nice deck. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I know the video is a little bit shorter today, but I really have a huge, huge, huge migraine. And I am I just, you know, really wanted to show you guys the deck. And just go back to bed and lay. Because I don't feel really, really well. And there's still, you know, Friday Night Pokemon Tournament to, 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 to host tomorrow. So... <coughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check me out live, Raven Cold Snatch, because that's the Twitch channel where you can find me from Monday to Friday. And see you guys in another video, right? Tomorrow, another day, another deck, and more Poké News. Thank you so much for watching the video. Raven loves ya. Bye.